This is um, what I call it. I forgot the name of my own show. Nice. Expansion Team. This is the Expansion Team Week 3. Mm -hmm. ISO versus the World podcast. You know what I mean? Expansion Team Week 3. Now, I mean, as you can see, now I got my brother. I, 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 I'll, I'll be forgetting to say in the studio, we in the house, but you know what I mean? I want to say I got my brother in the house for this one. You know what I mean? Um, last week, we had to call in. Like I said, sometimes you're going to call in, sometimes you're going to be here. Fortunate enough, you know what I mean? We got him here this week. Let me start off by saying, um, first, um, everything starts with the Earning Night Soul podcast. So, like, comment, share, subscribe, review. Um, we thank y'all for the love, the plays. Um, I got uh, told today that the um, that that, that uh, the episode that we put out today, you know what I mean, is doing is doing real well. Which by the time y'all see this, by the time you see this, is gonna be Saturday. But I'm talking about the Tuesday episode. You know what I mean? But by the time y'all, I mean, here I see this, this is going to be Saturday. But, you know, thank y'all for the love that we getting already. You know what I mean? As far as the plays. Um, as far as this one, like I said, this one going to come out on Saturday. But the way things is looking right now, the next one is going to be subscribed. This, I mean, this is probably the last one that's going to come out on the Earning Night Show platform. And, you know, the people that subscribe, you know what I mean? Thank, I mean, thank y'all for the love and everything like that. You know what I mean? First, let me say to my brother Woods, you know what I mean? How's everything? I think it's uh, cool, man. No complaints as usual. All right, good. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you know what I mean? The, the 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 feedback I've been getting is that, you know what I mean? Y'all love, y'all like this show, so we're going to try to do it for y'all every week, you know what I mean, if we can. And um, they um, they love it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like I said, you know what I mean? His name, you know what I mean? He want to go by Woods. He's not, he's not. I saw little brother, or, or what was y'all calling him? Little brother Woods. Nah, huh. he 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 a, he a grown he a grown man that's married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you just call him Woods. You ain't gotta call him. He's not I saw little brother, or he's not little right. bro, or a little brother Woods. You know what I mean? Or which which what y'all was calling him? It's just Woods. You know what I mean? It's so good, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, start off. Now, I mean, before we get into the recap of week two and and, 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 and go forward to week three, um, a couple of things which, like I said, we recording this on Tuesday, but it's going to come out on Saturday. You know what I mean? But the episode that uh, Earn ISO podcast that dropped today, Tuesday, was about the whole um, Colorado, you know what I mean, the Coach Prime and the thing that went on in the game. Mm -hmm. So... So 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 that's what our whole episode was about. I didn't mean for the whole episode to be about that, but I, I thought it was only gonna be like five. Me talk about it five or ten minutes, not getting to something else. Mm -hmm. But we just started. You know what I mean, the whole podcast just. You know I mean, whole episode just turned into that, and it was what it was. Like I said, you know I mean, thank y'all for the plays because Earn hit me. Um, hit me up and said that um, episode is is doing real. Is going really, really, really well. You know what I mean? So I so I'm glad that y'all like the episode, man. That's and um. Like I said, you know what I mean? They played Colorado State. You know what game. I mean? Good game, man. Yeah, yeah. It was a close game. Um, They had the uh, – tra tra Travis Hunter got out. You know what I mean? Was um was out. You know what I mean? He was injured. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Had Ended up having to go to high school. He's, he's going to be out a few weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now, I already talked. You know what I mean? I see what you feel about it because people already that listen to this. You know what I mean? I already know how I feel because we had a whole episode about it. So I'm gonna turn it. Uh, so 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 I'm gonna give it to you, so they can find out. Now I mean, how you felt about the whole game? Well, what the what episode was about? If you didn't hear it, you know what I'm saying? Earning um, earning ISO. Mm -hmm. It was about we called it the prime effect about how like people that's kids and that's playing on these other teams that got to play Colorado is no no I mean that like what happened with that late hit. Mm -hmm. That's how some people might feel. About, you know, they getting tired of everything being all about Colorado. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? With the whole the rappers and all the movie stars being there and everybody being there. Yeah. That, because right now, they are the mm -hmm. algorithm right now. Ain't really nothing else going on. Everybody just talking about whatever Colorado's doing. Mm -hmm. So we talked about the late hit and all that type of stuff. So that's what our episode was about. About, like, how, like... That can turn dangerous that somebody's running around with that mentality on the field, like, you know what I mean? I gotta get I, I gotta get my lick back, however. 
Yeah. Whether it's right or wrong, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a late hit, cheap shot, whatever. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, my whole thing was a cheap shot can end somebody's career. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what that's what worries me. You know what I'm saying? If somebody run around with their head that, you know, I'm going to take it, whatever I got to do, you know what I'm saying? Whether whether right or wrong, I'm, I'm going to get my lick back. So whether I got to try to knock somebody's head off out here, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm going to do it. To me, to me, that's what I took from that. When I seen that late hit, mm-hmm. that's what I'm thinking about. You know what I mean? I'm not thinking about what everybody else is thinking about. Everybody want to walk around with uh, sunglasses on and all that. Everybody want to do they tell heads and be on TV with sunglasses because <laughs> that's what Dion. I mean, that's what Coach Prime was doing yeah. and all that. That's that's not what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying to the people that that listen to this, I know. Not, not, I mean, most of y'all probably listen to the um to, to the episode that that dropped um dropped on Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? So. I just wanted to ask you how you felt about that whole situation and do you feel like, because you play football, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you might know people that have that mentality that that might come out their mouth and say that on your team like, well, I'm trying to knock somebody's head off whether I'm right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 for sure. So, 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 so how do you feel about the whole, for one, the game, you know what I mean? How do you feel about that, the whole atmosphere, everything right now? Being all about Colorado, them being like the whole center of the whole, not not just sports, just entertainment all together. They just like the center of the universe right now. Facts, facts. So how you feel about that? Well, just first of all, you know, shout out to Coach Prime and them kids, you know. I was up till 2 o'clock in the morning, that game was over, and I was up for the whole game. So I haven't watched a college football game that late in years. I'm talking about years, so... For them, for me to be awake that 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 long and that late shows that you know they're a big draw, you know, and, and just shout out to them for bringing back interest into college football because I haven't had that much interest in college football like this in a minute. But uh, just the whole atmosphere, it was dope, man. You know, the announcer said it was like the BET Awards on the sideline. I mean, mm-hmm. and we uh, cracking up, man. But I mean, it's not the first time you know college team did this, so, you know. I go back to the Miami Hurricane days or mm-hmm. USC Trojan, Peg Pete Carroll had his celebrities on the sidelines going to practice. So, you know, you're going to have them type of teams where, you know, they just, they got that star status where they just, you know, attract, you know, the hip hop game and, and, and all the celebrities. So it's not the first time that this happened. But um, as far as the whole hit, I just feel like that trickled down from the Colorado State coach. You know, the way he was talking all week, I'm sure he probably was pumping up in them, them students' ears that, you know, don't take no shit. You know, we got to go out there. We got to try to get ours. They got the the fame. They got all the attention. And we got to get get ours however we can get ours. And I really do think it was trickled down from the coach because I didn't see, like, no discipline from the coach. I didn't see him, like, overreacting, trying to talk to the players, saying why you did this or anything like that. He was just cool with it, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's, it's part of the game. When you're in between those lines, unfortunately, people will take cheap shots at you or whatever. They feel like they can't compete with you on a, on an even level. I mean, they, they're not as talented as you, so they might want to take cheap shots at you just to try to level the playing field. But... I mean, it, them kids were talented, though. Like, the wide receiver, uh, number 14, he was dope as shit. The defensive end, he was balling on uh, Kamara, number eight. They had some talented players out there, so they didn't really need to stoop down to that level. But, I mean, it's just part of the game. It's unfortunate that Hunter did get hurt like that. But, I mean, Colorado, they they defended not only Coach Prime, but they came back and defended Hunter and, you know, came back and won the game, especially the quarterback, uh, Shakur. I can't pronounce his first name. Shakur. Yeah, Shador. Oh, man, he's just, he's a real talent, man. He came out and he just put on, put the team on his back. You see, after the hit, he got up in the bull face. Mm -hmm. You see, after the game, he's next to his dad, just waiting for the Colorado State coach, you know, to say something. I mean, that that boy, I mean, he's something else, man. And he nodded to me. I mean, after the game, you know, you got to watch him, saying, doing all this. I mean, it's time, it's time. But to me, he's not as flashy as prime, you know, during the game, whatever. He, he just, but he's just, he's as good because I think he's going to be a top pick in um in the draft in the upcoming year because he could throw the ball and when he he knows when he runs he doesn't do it just to run the ball he runs and still trying to throw the ball downfield like he he's a hell of a player man I just got tons of respect for him that game was just 
dope as shit, man. And I'm, I'm glad I stayed up to watch it. I had a feeling it's gonna come back and win that shit. But uh, I picked on them, blow them out. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully you see a pattern on this show. Yeah, I mean, every pick I, I pick on this show go against you, you gonna make some money. You know what I mean? But anyway, huh. I, 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 I thought they were gonna bust their ass, and a lot of people did. But Colorado State, to their credit, they went out there and they really uh, played well. And it was just a good game, man. It's just unfortunate that the ball did. But like I said, it's part of the game. I really ain't too upset about it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. That sound. Yeah, yeah. That, that's. And I'm basically kind of said a lot of things that I said. Um, we did. Um, we did read. Um, on the podcast, we did read when you know, of course, you know the media asked Colorado State, you know, the head coach, how he felt about the play, mm-hmm. and was it going to be you know discipline? You know what I mean? About the uh, the late hit. Mm-hmm. You know, he said something about. I can't remember the exact quote, but we read it on the um on the episode mm-hmm. about, you know, he didn't really see the play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't yeah. really see the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, he you know, shit. right now he can't say whether well, it's going to be disciplined or not because he not, – not, I mean, he got to actually sit down and not, not mean and see the play because he didn't see the play. So. Yeah, he's full of it. Yeah, but, um yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of way the same – the same – what I said. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. um. Like I said, man, I think they got they got or they got Oregon next. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. Man. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, which is gonna be tough, man. Like I said, I mean, everybody that's been supporting them and all that, now I mean, continue to support. Now I'm saying all that running around and everybody want to talk like you, Coach Prime, and all this and that, and everybody want to wear the shades. No, continue to continue to support them. Now I mean, don't only do it when you think they're gonna win. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now I mean, it's the time to be down. Now I mean, right now when when don't nobody think they're gonna win. Now I mean, if you're a true supporter, now I mean, this is the time to be down. Mm-hmm. Now I mean, I want to see all of that. Now I think they do. I think they go to Oregon. They playing at yeah. Oregon, right? Yeah. So they not in their own house. So I know. So I don't you know. They ain't really with the. Ain't you know. Ain't nobody gonna be coming out performing no rap songs and all that type of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. That type of thing because you going into their house. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know what I mean? Show the same support this week. Don't just sit on there and just be, oh, uh, you know, that's going to be hard the next three games. And, you know, they play Oregon and USC. <laughs> no, so still, you know what I mean? Still support. Mm-hmm. Still believe, you know what I'm saying? Still support. Yeah, you know what right. I mean? You know what I mean? Don't be quiet this whole week. And then they mess around and win. And then it's all crazy next week. <laughs> no, no, no. No, keep it crazy and hyped up now. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying because you know you got a lot of bandwagon people. Not to say, now I mean people want to see the man do well. Now I mean Coach Prime. Now I mean people people want to see him do well. You know what I mean? But him him and the team. But it's more about the players. You know what I'm saying? I want the players to succeed. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. yeah, know what I mean still still be that. Don't be all sounding like how they sound. Up. Yeah, I don't know. You know so. Oh man, it's a, you know I don't know they're gonna do it this way. They might go one and three, might not win the game. They might not. No, still support him now. You can't just support him when you think he gonna when they think they gonna win. You know what I mean? We ain't got time, man. People ain't got time for the fair weather, for the fair weather friends and the bandwagon stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, it should be hype all this week the way same way it was all last week. You see what I'm saying? That's all I wanted to say. You know what I mean? I ain't want to stay on that too long. Cause like I said, we had a we had a whole episode about that. I got you. But um, yeah, man, we gonna um move on to um to to the NFL. You know what I mean? That's what y'all come here for. To I mean NFL. So what we gonna do is now I'm gonna be going uh recap week two so we can get to week three because that's really what y'all be coming here for. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be like, well, what was the picks? I gotta I listen to it more than one time to get the picks again and all this and that. All right, so we're going to do the week two recap, you know what I'm saying? And then we going, of course, we're going to give y'all, you know what I mean? He's going to give you his, his predictions predictions and all that for week three. Well, not really his, but you you, you reading like Vegas odds and stuff like well, that, yeah, right? The and the, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm just getting my opinion on who I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, so, so this is basically our opinions, but the actual numbers and all that are not from us. We are, like I said, we are not professionals at this. We don't claim to be. Know what I mean? But he reading y'all is, know what I mean? The nut far as the numbers, like you said, numbers of point spread is Vegas odds and things, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. We just giving you our opinions. You know what I mean? So please don't think these numbers come from us. 
We don't want no sports book, none of that. Nah, nah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know. They underneath the poppy store, you know what I mean? Shout out to the poppies, you know. Yeah. They used to go down and book Yeah, you know what I mean? Time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Old school, man, they don't know nothing about that, man. <laughs> Going to place a bet, you know what I mean? In the bar, you know what I mean? Somebody, somebody tell you, no, go to the bar, go to the back, <laughs> go here sitting in there, okay. You talk to him, he let you in the door. Some some people don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. We don't know nothing about that. I remember getting sitting in them type of places, though. I mean, the place of bet. You know what I'm saying? Good old days, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah going to the pool all right there with the bars. That's not me the pool. And we sit next to the pool table. He going to be the only old head Puerto Rican boy in there. Sad. You know what I mean? We don't know nothing about yeah. that. You know what I mean? I get the fucking betting slip. That shit be in all Spanish. Only thing I know is just the fucking numbers and yeah. shit. That's what it matters. <laughs> you know what I mean? The team name and number. Everything else is Spanish. You know what I mean? But it, them good old days. You just, a sense of, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Now it's just easy. You got the, the phone and all that. But back in the days, you had to actually go and put in some work to get these bets in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good, good feeling. Yeah, but um, yeah, and I mean, uh, first, I mean, before we get into week three, I mean, let us just re- recap week two real quick for y'all. You know what I mean, we just gonna give you a quick rundown of week two. All right, well, last Thursday night, y'all had the Minnesota Vikings go in to play the Philadelphia Eagles. That's right. You know, Eagles is favored by five and a half points, and the uh, total was forty eight and a half. So the Eagles won the game thirty four to twenty eight. They cover. Well, it closed at five and a half. Like, why I bet. It was six and a half, so oh. I won. The, I bet on Minnesota to cover the spread, so I covered the spread. But according to this uh, website, it was five and a half. So the Eagles covered this spread because they won by six, and okay. the game went over. Uh, it was a good game. Eagles did what they had to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want yeah, to get yeah. too much in yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't gonna get too much in there, man. Not, now, I mean, we took care of business. Now, I mean, we can move on. We took care of business. All right. Next, you got Green Bay at Atlanta. Atlanta was uh, minus three. Three point favorites. Total was forty and a half. Atlanta won the game twenty five to twenty four. So Green Bay covered the spread, but they lost, and the game went over. It was a lot of overs last week, as opposed to week one, where it was a lot of unders. But nah, that's why that Green Bay went in there and kind of choked it up at the end. Atlanta ran the ball down their throats, basically. All right. So you said they, you said they covered the spread, but they lost. Yeah, Green Bay was three point favor. I mean, uh, underdogs. Atlanta was three point favorites. And they won the game by one. So okay. Green Bay covered the spread. Underdog, I mean, they covered that part, but they lost the game. Okay. If you bet on Green Bay. That's okay. What I mean All, right. All right. All right. Next, we got Tennessee. They hosted the L.A. Chargers. L.A. was minus two and a half point favorites. Total was 45 and a half. Tennessee won the game 27 to 24. So Tennessee was underdog. They won the game, covered the spread, and the game went over. I was kind of surprised by that. You know, since San Diego, I'm always gonna go on San Diego. They got a good ass offense. I didn't think Tennessee offense was that nice, but Tennessee won the game, scored enough points, and they came away with the win. Pretty much. All right, next you got Vegas at Buffalo. Buffalo was minus seven and a half point favorites. Total was forty six and a half. Uh, Buffalo won the game 38 to 10. So Buffalo covered the spread and the game went over, over the total points. Like I said, a whole bunch of overs this week. Uh, Buffalo basically just came back and did what they supposed to do and um, just bounced back. Josh Allen ain't turn the ball over and Buffalo bust their ass because Vegas talent is not on Buffalo talent level. You know what I mean? All right, you got Seattle at Detroit next. Detroit was four and a half point favorites. Total was forty seven and a half. Uh, Seattle cover the four and a half spread. Oh, I'm sorry. Seattle won the game thirty seven to thirty one. So they was underdog, won the game, covered the spread. Uh, the game went over. Uh, pretty much, kind of surprising to some people. A lot of people jumped on the Detroit bandwagon from after that Kansas City game when they won and shit like that. So. Kind of surprised to some people, but Seattle did what they had to do and went in there and just won the game. All right. Next, we got Indianapolis at Houston. Houston was minus one point favorite. The total was 39 and a half. The Colts went in there and won 31 20. So the underdog won, and another the game went over once again. Another game that went over. Um, Richardson had like, I think, two Russian touchdowns. And, even Minshew got up in there and do a touchdown. So, 
Popes just went in there and they bust their ass pretty much. Uh, we got Chicago at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay was minus two and a half point favorites. The total was four and a half. Tampa won the game 27 to 17. Uh, the game went over. Tampa covered a two and a half point spread. Uh, Baker Mayfield, uh, he's just not turning the ball over. He's doing enough to win. Chicago, um, Justin Fields, I don't know what happened to him. These first two games, he's looking like kind of like shit. And uh, Tampa won the game. They 2 and 0. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad to see Baker. Baker, um, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if he got like it's his second win or something like that, getting like a second <laughs> chance or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? He playing decent, man. I always like Baker Mayfield, but I think, I think, I think we played them next. As far as the Eagles, I think mm-hmm. we played them next. We played them on Monday night, right? If I'm not mistaken, it's yeah. a Monday night game. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, I just want to say the Bucks stopped here. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. I thought of that. One. I thought of that one. <laughs> now I'm off the top of the head. You know what I mean? They put me on Sports Center. The Bucks, the Bucks stop here. <laughs> and now if they see the show that on Sports Center, something like that on ESPN, you know what they got there for. Yeah, courtesy of ISO. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to move on. A nice freestyle right there. We're going to move on. Baltimore at Cincinnati. Cincinnati was three and a half point favorite. Total was 45 and a half. Baltimore won a game 27-24, uh, won the game outright. The game went over. Joe Burrow, once again, not looking like himself. Lamar mm-hmm. Jackson doing what he had to do, doing enough. Odell Beckham, he got injured. He went out. Uh, but Baltimore, they they, they mm. winning, man. That's what they do. Yeah, man, they winning. Um, Joe Shiesty, man. That'd be, man they got me, got, he got me scared to pick him in fantasy, man. It's Joe you know what I mean? Joe Shiesty, you know what I mean? That's why I call him Joe Shiesty, because now I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. A lot of these, like I said, man, it's like people ain't people get the rust off yet, man. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's what it's looking like. You know what I mean? So a lot of these quarterbacks, a lot of these offenses is just, they looking stagnant right now. You know what I mean? Like they just discombobulated, man. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I personally think now, I'm no football aficionado. I personally think it's because a lot of people don't play in the preseason no more. You know what I mean? You got some mm-hmm. people playing, and then some people don't play at all. Everybody on the sidelines, each game with a sweatsuit on, laughing and joking. Mm-hmm. You ain't got no type of now. You ain't got no type of chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Now I mean because now these first games, I mean these games looking like they preseason for some of these teams. Yeah. Like we trying to get our thing together now. Yeah, it's facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen a um, I seen a play from um, from um Carolina. Know what I mean? With a, with a quarterback, he didn't know where to line up. I mean, behind the center. He wasn't even standing behind the center. Oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Young boy, he rookie. He, 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 I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Up. So, not, I mean, not to try to point him out and make fun of me or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but that's just showing, like, okay, to me, it's like the way things is going right now, it isn't looking like, okay, people need to play, which I understand why a lot of people don't play the pre- preseason because they don't want nobody getting hurt. Mm-hmm. Now I mean that can ruin somebody. You can ruin the whole season, but now you see the result of that. Everybody looks like they just not like in the groove, like in the flow yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially somebody like, you know what I mean? Did, did we go to Kansas City game yet? No, it's not. Okay, yeah, you go. Yeah, we can do that one next. All right, Kansas City at Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. Kansas City was minus three point three and a half point favorites. Uh, total was fifty and a half. Kansas City won the game seventeen and nine. Uh, this game went under, and Kansas City covered the spread. Uh, Jacksonville was in the red zone several times, couldn't score no touchdowns, and Kansas City still ain't ready to look right. Um, yeah, they didn't. But they, they won the game. Yeah, 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 man. That's another thing I'm saying. They just don't – they they look discombobulated. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Look, yeah. I mean, like they thrown off. But I will tell you, you know what I mean, it's good to see um, – Trevor Lawrence, you know what I'm saying? He's starting to look like the quarterback everybody say, you know what I mean, he's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And shout out to um, was it Calvin Ridley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Him, you know what I mean, getting the fresh start. You know what I mean? He's showing that, you know, I can still ball, man. I can ball. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? A lot of people just wrote him off, which I don't know why. You know what I mean? But, you know, man, so, yeah, I'm like, yeah, man, like they're going to be a deadly combination. You know what I'm saying? They ain't nothing to be to be the the Jacksonville ain't nobody to look past no more. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because that boy looking like he he 
I mean, he's throwing that ball the way he's supposed to. Everybody say, say that he could. He got the potential and talent to. So, yeah. yeah, I just wanted to say that. Now, I mean, shout out to Dougie P, man. Now, yeah, I mean, you Borders. gotta shout him out because Urban now, Meyer man. was there and he ain't do Lawrence no justice. You know, you see Lawrence was looking like shit where Urban Meyer was there. Yeah, I think I I I just think a person like Urban Meyer is just he's a Nick Saban type of dude. He just worked better in college. You know what I'm saying yeah. the whole the college thing is just probably better for them. Yeah, Chip the Kelly. whole. Yeah, the whole yeah, yeah, the whole environment, the whole logistics, the whole mechanics of how it work and everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because Chip Kelly, he's still in UCLA, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I don't I don't really know how they doing or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they are, are they right. are they doing all right? Are they doing like Oh they are they, but I mean I don't know if this year I mean I think they like won and I don't even know their record. I know they yeah. won their last game, but okay. I don't know their record. But they they doing all right though, especially when they had that black quarterback last year. Uh you're not there no more, you know, Cleveland, but Dorian Thomas Robert Robertson okay. whatever, but yeah he's doing all right man. Not Oregon level obviously he's not doing like he was at Oregon but yeah man yeah yeah man some of them games they ain't even punt the ball that's crazy to me you go a whole game you don't punt the young guy punt the ball Mm-mm-mm. you know what I mean but you know go on all go. right we got San Fran at L A Rams San Fran was minus seven and a half point favorites total was forty five and a half San Fran won a game thirty to twenty three now this game. Came down to the end for the betters. San Fran was up by 10 points. L.A. had the ball at the, like, 30-yard line. It was, like, three seconds left. Instead of trying to go for the touchdown, they kick a field goal, and they cover the seven-and-a-half-point spread. So a lot of betters, whoever bet San Fran was mad as hell at L.A. coach for kicking that field goal for kind of no reason. And, you know, people saying, oh, he knew the spread and all that shit. Oh, explain, explain, explain it again. What happened? It was, like... Three seconds left. Right. L.A., they was losing by 10, L.A. Okay. So they had the, like, 30-yard line. So instead of trying to go for the touchdown, just trying to get a touchdown, the coach just kicked the field goal. And when the field goal was, was went through, the game over. It's okay. not like you kicked the onside kick next. Okay. No, the game was over. Just, so people were just saying, why ain't you just trying to go for the touchdown? Just kick the field goal, and they covered a seven-point seven spread. Okay. The spread was seven and a half. Okay. So if you bet on San Fran, a lot of motherfuckers mad, but if you bet on the Rams, you happy as shit. But okay. a lot of people were saying why he kicked the field goal. It wasn't fourth down either. Okay. You know what I mean? So, I mean, people asked him after the game why he did it. He said it was for some type of tiebreaker case, you know, they got to come down to like point differential or some shit like that. Okay. At the end of the year. All was, right. That was his reasoning, but. You, who, who, you talking about the coach? Coach out of the Rams, yeah, because they asked okay. him, because a lot of motherfuckers are saying, well, you, you knew the spread, why you keep the field goal? Okay, you know what I mean? You about to, you know what I mean? He said, listen, now I got to coach this team. I ain't got time for y'all gamblers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now the world don't revolve around y'all gamblers, the world revolve around. You know what I mean? I'm the coach, you know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm, know what mm-hmm. I mean? And then that was in the script. You know what I mean? That's when they snatched oh, the whack away and they said, oh, oh, chill. <laughs> Interview over. You know what I mean? You <laughs> know what I mean? So, so, so that's what that was. I mean, that was in the script. I mean, mm-hmm. that must have been part of the script. Yeah, I still so said it. Yeah. All right, man. Next, we got the New York Giants at Arizona Cardinals. Giants was minus four and a half point favorites. The total was 39 and a half. Giants won the game thirty one to twenty eight. They they didn't cover the four and a half mm. points like everyone like I thought. Uh but the game went over. Giants was losing like twenty one nothing or some shit like that. Came back and won the game. Um shout out to them for showing some heart. At least they supposed to beat them from beat the brakes off them from the gate, but hey, at least they came back and won the game. Cardinals, shout out to them for going for another one pick, letting them come back and win. So I feel Cardinals trying to get the number one pick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next we got the New York Jets at the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas is minus eight and a half point favorites. Total was thirty nine and a half. Dallas covered that eight and a half point spread. The game went over just by half a point. Like I said, the total was thirty nine and a half. Total point was forty, so they just went over. You know, Dallas just basically dominated from beginning to end. Zach Wilson ain't stand a chance. Dallas' just defense just looking like a, I don't know, he's looking like something else these first two games. Only two games, but they looking like something else and looking like a fucking problem. Yeah, but, man. Yeah, man. Uh, Michael Parsons, man. Yeah, man. Problem. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Michael Parsons, he like a throwback dude because he got the sideburns. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? He like an old, you could tell that's how he played. Old school throwback type dude. 
You know what I mean? The sideburns is probably that's that's probably his power. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, like shit. Samson. You know what I mean? That's his strength right there. Oh shit! <laughs> you know what I mean? Samson. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I seen him, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, I'm like, like, yo, he keep his head like he's like the old school joint. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. keep his head like old school. That probably would game like probably gave him his power. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> was like the old school throwback dude. He's like the old the old Lawrence Tell you when they show the NFL film yeah, joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawrence Tell and all of them, they got the sideburns and all that. They look like they work on cars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 he like, we can't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they, they like they work up in the steel mills and yeah, all that. Yeah, right? Back in the day, they wasn't getting paid that much. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers had some summer job, right? Another job, another job on the off season and shit. Like right? You know what I mean? They like listen. Soon, soon the game over. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Clock, <laughs> clocking in so right, much, bro. right. You still, still got your equipment on, right? <laughs> you got your equipment on. You clocking, clocking your second job. You still got your equipment on, like. Up, you know what I mean? All right. Like, yeah. Yeah. They probably mad, like, no, 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 no. No, yo, because I keep telling you, you can't clock in and then go change. <laughs> He's supposed to already have your work uniform on. And clock in, he got his. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Wild. <laughs> wild for that, man. Oh, driving in this car, driving this car to his next job. He still got his uniform on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, it's not hard, man, back then. Yeah, man. Doing, man. All right, next we got Washington at Denver. Denver was a minus three and a half point favorites. Total was 38 and a half. Washington won the game 35 to 33. They covered the spread, won the game outright, and the game went over. Uh, Washington got their act together because they was kind of losing in the first half. Russell Wilson was looking all right in the first half. Then the second half came, and they just, you know, they <laughs> Denver Brockham thing. Denver Denver just, you know, they just been folding the last few years and Watson credit to Eric Bent B enemy. He did his thing, you know, called a good game. Mm. Quarterback can how, you know, he was he ain't turn the ball where he's efficient. So Washington is respectable. They two and no, man. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, they two and no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, the thing about Russell Wilson, man. It's like when you seen some of the players, I'm like, no, nah, he still got it. I don't know what people think, acting like he it's over for him. Mm-hmm. He still got it, but then I don't know if it's just a, the team as a whole. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is with them because when I seen him, I was like, no, nah, he still he like he still got it. So mm-hmm. I don't even know what people are talking about. Like it's supposed to, you know what I mean, like like he watched ain't no good. You know what I mean? So you yeah. still see the you know what I mean you still see the talent is there. I just don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? They they caught up them they 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 had coach Sean Payton right yeah 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 I don't know what they I don't know what they expect him to do you know what I'm saying I don't know what they expect him to do man and then okay we we all know he a good coach you know what I mean Oh no! Okay, well, you no, no, I mean, you feel like he was overrated. I, yeah, he, he already bringing you went, fucking Taysom Hill. Hill, my baby got Brady and Taysom Hill. You out two breeze and okay? Shit. Okay, so 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 you want of people that feel like well, it was more of it was more you had Drew Brees than you being a great uh, coach. Uh, I mean that year they, they they I ain't gonna take nothing from that year, but overall it's overall tender. I feel like he's overrated. Like okay, I said, the main thing I ain't like was that whole taking out Drew Brees shit. Giving Taysom Hill the ball, like putting him at quarterback and shit, like fifty percent of the game and shit, like that shit was uh, nutty. You know? Okay, all right. But uh, speaking of, oh, no, nah, it's Monday night. But Sunday night was Miami and New Orleans. I mean New England. Uh, Miami was minus one and a half point uh, favorites. Total was forty six and a half. Dolphins won the game twenty four to seventeen. Covered the spread. The game went under. New England defense did the best they could. Like Tyreek Hill ain't go off or anything like that. But Miami just got so many weapons. They just so damn fast. They gonna score at least twenty every game. New England, they offense just can't keep up with Miami. But Miami's two and zero, and New England's zero and two. Bill Belichick look like he lost his fastball. He ain't, he not the same no more. I mean, he's still okay. Explain something to me because they they talking about the play when the defensive guy was in motion. When he kicked and he blocked it and he blocked the kick, I don't remember. you know, you don't, you don't, you don't remember that joint? No, it's uh, Miami game. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. It was like they just saying it was illegal or something. No, they was just like they was like praising Bill Belichick for like 
inventing that or something. Like, I was like, I don't know. I want to ask you about that, but you don't, you, know, yeah, I don't know you ain't that. said. But okay, I'm going to keep going. going. <laughs> All right. New Orleans uh, at Carolina. New Orleans was minus three and a half. No, just minus three point favorites. The total was 39 and a half. The game was a push because New Orleans won the game 20 to 17. And the game went under. It was an ugly game. No table offense pretty much for both teams. And New Orleans 2 0 and Carolina's 0 2. Okay, so, all right. Jameis Winston is a starting quarterback? No, no, no Derek right? Carr. Yeah, I'm I like, don't know where Winston is. because they 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 keep showing a they showing a video of him like clapping the people right the, to the, the point that I think that he was when I thought that he was playing. I'm like I'm like no, because Derek Carr played there, right? I'm like, yeah. but then James Winston was like sweating like he was doing. So did he get in the game at all? No, he must. That must be old footage. I don't know. That must be old yeah, footage, yeah, 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 yeah. I think in that, that video he was wearing like a white. Jersey and he's wearing black know, jersey. Yeah, yeah. I don't, so yeah, I don't know why that deep that shit going around. I, I don't know. Maybe he's his PR team trying to get him something. Yeah. Somewhere. So who knows? All right. All right. Cleveland at Pittsburgh. That's the last Monday night game. Uh, Cleveland was minus two and a half point favorites. The total was thirty nine and a half. Uh, Pittsburgh won the game twenty six to twenty two. Uh, Pittsburgh won the game outright and uh, the game went over the uh, total. Uh, uh, prayers go out to Nick Chubb. That yeah, that perfect was, injury. Jesus Christ, That's crazy. How you feel about them not showing on the TV? Do you want them to show it? Or you... I mean, these days you gonna see it because the second they didn't show on TV, it was like within within like five minutes, it was already on the phone in the algorithm. That's what's crazy to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? I think by the time they show it, they might show it one time, right? At the time, because it happened in like real time, so like one of the camera angles caught it. Mm-hmm. So because 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 they got it. Now I mean, if you go on the internet, you can see it. You can actually yeah. see from the camera angle of where. I mean, exactly where it happened. Mm-hmm. But you know, they of course they're not going to replay it on you know, on TV and all that. But within five minutes, it's already in the algorithm on everybody's phone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that that's how I seen it. I seen it on the phone. Mm-hmm. Like five minutes after that happened. Yeah, as soon as they said it was short, they wasn't going short, I started yeah, on I was like, Twitter. Oh I was trying to find that shit. I'm like, I, I, Jesus I mean, Christ. I mean, I don't want to keep seeing it over and over, but yeah. I did want to see how, I mean, how horrific it was. And like I said, it's, uh, I feel bad for him. It's, yeah. It's going to take a lot for him to come back from that. But uh, Cleveland yeah. looked bad. Yeah, yeah, but then he said, but they said, was that the same knee he hurt? Yeah, in college. See? I was, I, when I was going on YouTube trying to find that, the injury... I was seeing that injury from Georgia, and it looked damn near the same. That's yeah, true. man. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, man. So, now, I mean, I'm sorry to see that. Yeah. That's the last game, though, week two. Okay. Now, I mean, that was a week two recap. Um, yeah, man. Um, oh, I mean, before we go into week three, I just wanted to ask you something. Whatever happened to Todd Gurley? He retired, right? Yeah, he's been, he been out the game. Yo, but I but it, but but it don't seem like he he played that he played that long to me. Or just am I mistaken? Like it's running back life nowadays. I, I would say probably like five years after he left the Rams, he went to Atlanta for right. a year or two. Hey man, just yo, remember just, when he was like the number one dude in like fantasy? Well, you probably don't. I mean, you don't play fantasy like that. Yeah. I remember when he was like top dog in fantasy, yeah. man. Then he just went from like yo, man, running backs, man. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. So, I don't know what you do with if you got a kid playing in the little league, like you want to try to make him be a wide receiver or something, but at the end of the day, you gotta just they gotta if you can make it as a running back, just make it as a running back. As long as you make it to the league, but that's a position that's just ugh, you don't wanna play. That's a position I used to play in running middle league, so I kinda of feel bad for these boys, man, because you only got a six year, five, six year window. Mm. It's just fucked up. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I mean, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was just a random thought. Now I mean, it just popped back in my head. Ty Gurley, where you at? Hit up ISO. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, yeah. So now I mean, that was the week two recap. Now I mean, we are gonna let y'all know. Um, we, now we gonna get into week three. You know what I mean? What y'all been waiting for? You know what I mean? Most of y'all probably fast forward to this anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, well, what y'all say? Well, what I've been told is what y'all say is y'all listen to the whole thing on Saturday when it come out. But then when y'all go. Wherever y'all go to place y'all bets, Saturday night or Sunday morning, 
y'all listen to it again because I already just, you know what I mean? It gets a lot of like double plays. It gets like replay. A lot of y'all's, you know what I mean? Y'all play it a bunch of times during the weekend. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? During that Saturday and Sunday. You know what I mean? From 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 what I heard. You know what I mean? So, so y'all can just get the point spreads and all that type of stuff again. You know what sure. I mean? We appreciate y'all that. We appreciate y'all for listening to the whole thing on Saturday the first time. Any other time after that, I understand y'all got to fast forward it just to whatever the week it is so you can, you know what I mean? For, for y'all is bet, you know what I'm saying? If y'all, you know what I mean, they got a gambling problem, you know what I mean? one 800 gambler you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Let me say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And shit not free. You, you got a problem. Hey, I called that number before. They said, it's, yeah. It's not free? No, it's not free. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> He said it's not free. I did not know that. Yeah, it's not free. You gotta pay. Damn, we gotta pay to talk to you. Well, yeah, what I mean, we can't help you. Insurance will cover, but damn, uh, yo, what's your insurance? Hold on, (laughs) my insurance got to do with this. I'm trying to talk to you about my problem. Know what I mean? What insurance you got? Know what I mean? Everything about money. Oh no, that ain't got. No, we don't carry that insurance. Know what I mean? Your insurance there? Yeah, yeah, that insurance don't work. Nah. Sorry. I just put that money towards another bet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Should I, should I pay? That's wild. Yo. Bro, bro, you know what I mean? Should I, should, I pay, should I pay you out of my pocket to talk about my gambling problem to y'all? So I just place another bet. <laughs> <laughs> so while I was on my way to the casino, you know what I mean? <laughs> you sit, sit, oh, in the, sit in the park lot of the casino mm-hmm. talking about trying to get somebody to talk to yeah, the land. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And they and they talking about sorry, you know what I mean? Your insurance ain't you know, I'm sure it's don't cover this, so you either pay out of pocket, you know what I mean? Your co pay is you know what I mean? This though, this is your co pay right here. <laughs> Hold on, my co pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah. I did not know that. Honest yeah. to God, I did not know that that joint is not free. I thought it just like you call somebody and then yo somebody might want to talk to somebody want to talk. You know what I mean? Ain't no suicide line. Don't work yeah. Like oh that. damn. You know what I mean? They want you to come in and uh, like I guess talk to somebody face to face. Okay. <coughs> okay. Damn. I ain't even know that, man. Damn, man. Y'all ain't even free. Listen, man. Everything calls, man. You want me to help you with your problems, man? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh well, we can't. We can't. We can't help you, sir. Best of luck. Right. You know what I mean? They gonna add a suicide line like that one day. Watch. You gonna try to call in? And try yeah, to what's stop your playing? insurance? <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? What's your, what's your insurance? You ain't got no insurance? Click. No, that's one of the reasons why I'm depressed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yo, yo, that's that's wild. That's I did not, I did not know day. that that wasn't free. Honest to God, I never called it. Ain't like I never, ain't like I ever called it. Yeah, I gave it a call. One, okay. One, one year. One year. Okay, and they, and, they, and, they, and they told you sorry? Well, they said I need yeah. money, so I told them That's sorry. They need I money. Said, and I said All right. I so about, yeah, so right. <laughs> so I said you need money. That's real talk, man. Okay. You know what I mean? So let me go in here and bet. So if I let me go bet. So, I mean. <laughs> I said. That's, that's wild to me. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Motherfucker really need help. Oh, I tell ain't you, yo, we need. Yo, it's just covered. You got to pay out of pocket. Yo, this is gonna be a copay out of pocket. Mm-hmm. If I got the money, I'm just gonna go bet it. Mm-hmm. If I can't get the money, I gotta get some money up. But I go, I still ain't got enough, so we can go bet and turn this into something so I can bring yeah, the y'all yeah. and get some help for my pro. Mm-hmm. That's wild, man. Listen, this is America. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> as, as Donald Glover would say, "This is America." <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that's right. That's so. cold blooded, man. Mm-hmm. All right, All right what's going? Let's get into week three, man. Yeah, that that blew my mind with that one. This is week three. So Thursday night, we got the New York Giants going to San Francisco 49ers. Oh, hold on, one more thing. I know y'all say y'all be going uh, on Saturday night listening to the spread. So if I say a spread, we be calling this as y'all know earlier in the week. So if my spread is off, then the spread as y'all see on Saturday or Sunday. Right. You know, injuries happen and stuff like that. So, spreads can change by one or two points by the time this come out. You know what I mean? Right. So, right. You know what I mean? Because that, that, as y'all now. know by now, you know what I'm saying, we recorded ahead of time. So, it's not like we recording it. We recording it on Saturday and then putting it out a couple hours later or putting it out right after we record it. We're not recording on the same day. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, record early in the week. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah like you said... Some of these lines get changed. Some of these points, but 
and all that can change. You know what I'm saying? We not it's not like we record it and then put it right out same day. You know what I mean? We don't do it. No, I mean we don't do it like that. Hopefully now, no, I mean hopefully in the future we might be able to do it something like that. Right now we don't. We got record. You know what I mean? Days ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Got to get edited and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? We got to upload. Let you. I mean, upload it so it can go on, go out on all the platforms. So don't be like, well, that's not what it was. It said, you know what I mean, when I got here to bet, it was different. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, so that's why you're trying to explain to y'all. You know what I mean? Because we record, we record days ahead of time. All right. So like I said, New York Giants and San Fran. Right now, San Fran is ten point favorites. The total is forty four. Um, it's unknown whether Barkley will play. Most people are saying he won't play. But the coach of the Giants said, you don't know how fast this guy uh, could heal. He's a fast healer. Some some bull junk like that. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, San Fran, if Barkley doesn't play, I mean, they should win a game. That's a high spread, 10 points. And Thursdays, I usually like to rock out with the home team anyway because they home and the away team got to deal with all that traveling. Even though I think the Giants is staying out on the West Coast, they just play Arizona in Arizona, so I think they chilling out west coast to the game, so that that will uh, ease the pressure of you know all that traveling and whatnot. So I really got no uh, opinion on point spread. Uh, I just think San Fran gonna win the game basically. Okay. All right. Yeah. That means sound good. All right. Next we got L.A. Chargers at Minnesota. Minnesota is minus one and a half point favorites. Total was fifty three and a half. Uh, should be a lot of points in this one. Uh, I really don't know who will win. They're both underachieving. But it should go over this 53 and a half. I mean, both of their defense is suspect. And it uh, should be like a 30-something, 30-something game. That's how I see it. Say, say it again. What's the team's again? Uh, L.A. Chargers and Minnesota Vikings. Okay. Minnesota minus one and a half point favorites. Total 53 and a half. Okay. Okay, so you could be. Cause you're saying both their defenses ain't really, you know what I mean, doing too good right now. And you know, they both can score. You know I mean, they can score some points. You know mm-hmm. I mean, both of them, both of them teams can, can, can score some points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so yeah, all right. All right, next we got Tennessee Titans at Cleveland Brown. Cleveland is minus three point favorites, total is 39 and a half. Um, two great, two good defenses. I think the game might go under. Um, just two good defenses. Watson they looking at all that Tannehill. When they go against Cleveland defense, I don't think he's gonna do much. I don't know who's gonna win. If anything, I might pick Tennessee to cover the spread. Three, uh, the um, plus three spread. They shouldn't get blown out, but I'll just rock out with the under. I think both these defenses are just legit, and uh, it should be a low scoring game. Okay. All right. All right, next we got Houston Texans at Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville is minus nine and a half point favorites, total 43 and a half. Um, I have a hard time betting on the, a high point spread for a division game, so I got no interest on that. The total already had no interest on uh, I probably won't be had no action on this game, but uh, Jacksonville 2 0 and Houston looking for their first one. I'm sure a lot of people will be on Jacksonville to bust their ass. Okay. All right. Uh, next, we got New England Patriots. They're going against the New York Jets. Is in New York. New England is minus two and a half point favorites. Total was 37. Uh, I think New England beat the Jets prior. They got a mean winning streak against them right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Zach Wilson going against Bill Belichick. You know, if anything, I'll rock out with the Patriots. Like I said, I think the Patriots beat them five, six times in a row, some shit like that. Mm. So I'm going to rock out with New England. Yeah, man. Um, speaking of the, uh, the Jets, what's the running back that was on the Jets that used to be on Minnesota? Oh, Darwin Cook. Yeah. And what happened to him, man? I don't know, right? You know what I mean? I picked him on fantasy. I'm like, yo, what happened? <laughs> yo, he used to be a short shot, man. Yeah. I don't know if it's just because he's just from the Jets now, and it's like, yo, I'm. It's a quarterback effect. It's all like a butterfly effect. There's nobody respecting Zach Wilson, so they probably just, you know, just trying to stop that run and trying to make Zach Wilson beat him. Yeah, so man. It's going to be tough for the running backs to get any type of, you know, yardage, I think. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, man. I like, yeah, I used to like to, uh, I used to like to pick him. Know what I mean? Cause okay, you know, I mean back back when he was on Minnesota, he cost a couple dollars in in, in fantasy, mm-hmm. but he was worth it. Like he always gave you something. You know what I'm saying? He always put points on the board. So mm-hmm. when I, I, I picked him, I was like, yo, what what is going on, man? I guess it's just cause I don't know. He just on the Jets, and they just they just trying to do the best they can because they thought things was gonna be better for them, and then it just didn't happen. There and Rodgers got hurt. And now he just like, yo, we gotta just pick up. You know what I mean? Yeah, that 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 whole next man up mentality, that that's that's easy to say, but <laughs> now I mean easier said than done, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So uh, man, nice. yeah, man, they gotta man, yo, man, it's gonna be a long season for them. It is, man. You know what I mean? Their defense is nice, man. Their defense is nice, but if you can't score no points, know what I mean? And then um what's the right receiver boy they got, man? Wilson, yo, Wilson. he ain't yo, man, he ain't yo, he ain't, he ain't no joke, man. He ain't nothing to play, but yeah, but yo, you you can't get the ball to him. Yeah. What it matter? Yeah, you can't get the ball to him, but it matter. Yeah, ain't worth picking him. Only thing fantasy wise is the worth the picks is the defense, bro. Yeah. Or maybe Brees Hall, because he got that little breakaway effect to break out some long runs, but Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. All right. All right, we got New Orleans and Green Bay. Green Bay is minus two point favorites. Total is forty two and a half. Um Tough game to call. Uh, yeah, that's a real tough game to call. I already got no pain up right now on it. Uh, both good defenses. Yeah, Jordan Love, what are you going to do? I can't call it, man. Mm. I can't call it. You got any pain on it? No, man, I can't. I don't, man, I don't know because I ain't really paid too much attention to Green Bay. I mean, I pay pay too much sense in either team. You know what I'm saying? Because what happened was, like I said, you know what I mean? Eagles is my team, and they play back to back so quick. So I'm like, that's all I was really worried about. So this Sunday, you know what I mean? Flew, but I really didn't pay. I didn't really pay too much attention to the games. I'm like, man, we won already. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? We won already. I'm good. So. Then now, now we got to wait all the way to Monday night to play again. So I really wasn't even paying attention. So, I mean, whoever win, win. Yeah, like I said, I ain't got no, I ain't got no dog in this fight. Gotcha. All right. Next we got uh, Russell Wilson and Denver Broncos going down to Miami. Miami's minus six and a half point favorites. Uh, total is forty eight and a half. Um, that's basically do or die for Denver, man. But I just can't, I can't bet no money on them right now. I don't believe in them. Um, if anything, I I rock out with Miami, but mm-hmm. I I would think, like I said, let's do a die. Denver gotta if they want to save their season, they gotta go in there and win this game. So the smart play might be Denver to cover the spread. Um, but I can't bet no money on Russell Wilson. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Not right now. Yeah, because everybody might think that. See, see, that's what's throwing me off because he's still like he can he can play, so people might be counting him out. And then this is the game he showed up for and everything clicked. Yeah. Like damn, we thought we thought Miami was just gonna go on and blow him out. Know what I mean, Tyreek Hill was gonna have like three touchdowns or something like that. And they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Throwing the ball all over the field, and then Russell Wilson might not. I mean, this is the game that you think they ain't gonna do nothing. And this is the game Russell Wilson messed around pass for man, he passed for three hundred yards. He's like, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's why it's called any, any, any given Sunday. You know what I mean? That's why it's called any given Sunday. Because the things, you know I mean, things you think going to go one way can go another way. Mm-hmm. So that's why I really, you know what I mean, I'm with you. Because you, you automatically think like, all right, Miami just going to score a bunch of points. You know what I'm saying? It's going, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? By the time they score, it'd be the second quarter. They'd be done score three touchdowns already. You know what I'm saying? In the third quarter, you know what I mean? By the time the second quarter or something, they done score three or four times. It's, it's, it's a wrap. No, you know, you never, you never know. You know what I mean? You never know. He's like, damn, Russell Wilson played it. You know what I mean? Played a great game. Everything yeah. went right for them. And they won the game. So that's why it, it be throwing, everything be just be throwing you off, man. Yeah, man. So I can't call it. All right, we got Buffalo at Washington. Buffalo is minus six and a half point favorites. Total is 44 and a half. Um, probably, I don't know. I, I like Washington this year. I've been saying that from the gate. I've been picking them every week. Uh, it, to me, it's just this just a this is a high ass point spread right now. It's kind of Vegas is kind of telling me that 
Buffalo's going to blow them out. Mm-hmm. Because Buffalo is on the road. Home speed, home team supposed to get three three points automatically. Mm-hmm. So Buffalo minus six and a half point favorites. And Washington is undefeated. Buffalo's one and one. I don't know. That's a high ass spread. So Vegas is they going to want people to pick Washington. They trying to that high ass spread. They trying to make people pick Washington since they undefeated. That's a high ass spread. So it's kind of telling me that Buffalo's going to go in there and bust the ass, but. I'm going to stay away from that game. That just looked like a fishy game. Um, I, I, could, I could see Buffalo doing, doing the, um, putting up some points on them. If Josh Allen don't, don't turn the ball over. And then I could see Washington trying to kind of fold in and not score a lot of points. Mm-hmm. But like I said, that, that spread just kind of scares me. Man. That's a high-end spread. So, that's my opinion on the game. Yeah, man. I mean um... – uh, Washington is in the Eagles division, so I hope I hope Buffalo <laughs> beat them. Bottom line, I hope they beat them. Yeah. Now, man, I'm just I'm old fashioned like that. I ain't talking about no Vegas odds and no spread and nothing like that. I just want them to let's <coughs> like Washington to lose. Mm-hmm. I just need a loss, a good old fashioned loss. I ain't talking about no betting and this the point spread and this this and this that. This is minus this and plus that. I just mm-hmm. want them to lose. I got you. That's all. Know what I mean, as long as they lose, you know what I'm saying, I'm good. <laughs> We got Atlanta at Detroit. Detroit is minus three point favorites. Totals forty six and a half. Um, I think Detroit gonna win, but I don't know if it's gonna be close. Um, but I rock out with Detroit with the spread. Uh, Detroit, they got. I think they're a good team. Atlanta's a good team too. They can run the ball, but I think uh, Detroit after their loss last week got to bounce back. Mm. So. I'm gonna rock out with Detroit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. They the set, man. They the definition of man, week to week, man. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean? They are like, like the definition of week to week. Cause you be thinking like, you know, me thinking like, man, they ain't got it, and then they show that they that they decent. Then you think, okay, they decent. They show you that, nah, man, but they have a bunch of missteps and all that. So I don't know, man. Um, the game can go either way, man. I can't even call it. I mean, you can't call it because then, cause then, cause then Atlanta would be like week to week, man. You can't – I mean, they, 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 they – teams like them, them teams is probably like a, a, a better's nightmare, man, because you can't – you ain't nothing for certain. Mm-hmm. I mean, that running back that Atlanta got, now, I mean, he's dope. Be John Robinson, man. He's a, he's a problem. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yo, know I mean, he's dope, man, the way he run the ball. But at the same time, it's like I said, then this thing they, – they got them, but then – I, I've been in fantasy. I be picking Kyle Pitts, thinking that he gonna like have his breakout game, and things like it's gonna click, and then it just it just it just be like nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's that about. I can't even explain that, man. Because everybody said that he was gonna be like yeah. one of the best tight ends in the league when he came in, yeah. and it just don't seem like things are clicking for him. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. If they just they they, get, they the offense. They just don't care about a tight end, tight end, and they just don't. You know what I mean? Like you he just, just there. He's too flashy for him. Like not flashy, but what I'm trying to say is Atlanta. You know they want like a tough team, and he's like the little s- slender tight end that's just like a wide receiver. I think he need to go like somewhere that got like a banging ass passing offense. You okay, know? okay. I just think they're not using him right. They, okay. They want like a running tough team. They need like a fucking. Algie Crumper tight ends. Yeah, okay, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 he talk, yeah. Okay, he want an old school throwback type dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they don't want no, they ain't, they ain't trying to get the Travis Kelsey type of dude, you know what I mean? They want the. George Kittle. They just want somebody to block to. I mean, you know I don't know, I just feel like they just not using him right because he got yeah. sound like a motherfucker. Yeah, mother. yeah, yeah, so. Okay, man, I understand that, man. They want the. Yeah, they want one of them tight ends that, you know, barely ever get the ball. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? One of them type of dudes that just use the block. Mm-hmm. Okay, man. All right. We got Indianapolis at Baltimore next. Baltimore is minus seven half point favorites. Total is 44 and a half. Now, as, as of now, Richardson went out with a concussion. Mm. So, we don't know if he's going to play or not as of now. Um I mean, he's a big deal because he can run the ball. He, he can move the offense for them. But I'm just a big fan of Baltimore, so I think they're going to win. If anything, look at the under. 
because Richardson don't play in Baltimore defense shit. Oh, Indianapolis down to like 17 points or something like that. So I'm going to rock out with Baltimore and maybe the under. Okay. All right, we got Carolina and Seattle next. It's a 4 o'clock game. Seattle's my five and a half point favorites. Total's 42. Seattle coming off that win in Detroit. Carolina's on two. Like I said, uh, I think Seattle's going to win the game, but I don't know what they, what they cover the spread. You know, Carolina going to have some fight in them, I would think, but Seattle should win the game. I don't know about the spread, though. Mm-hmm. All right, next we got Dallas at Arizona. Now, this is a high-ass spread. Dallas is 12-and-a-half point favorites. 43 points is the total. Now, we all know Dallas should win. Um, Arizona been covering the spread the last two weeks. They covered the spread against the Giants, covered the spread against Washington. They've been losing, but for betting wise, they be winning. So I don't know. I seen like I'm always like a pessimistic Cowboys fan. So, but I think they should they should win by more than twelve and a half, man. Fuck Jonathan Gannon. You know what I mean? Whatever he think he know about dollars is different dollars. I can't see. Joshua Dobbs putting up more than nine points on Dollars. So, I'm going to go with Dollars to cover that spread. And Dollars cover all they spreads. You know, obviously, blew the Giants out, blew the Jets out. So, they 2-0 against the spread as well. So, ooh, somebody's going to take their first loss when they come back. One of these teams. Okay. All right. All right. We got Chicago at Kansas City next. Kansas City, they are also 12.5 points favorites. Total of 47.5. Chicago got to get a win somewhere, somehow, some way. Um, I doubt it'd be this week, but I'm going to pick them to cover the spread because they owe them two, and Kansas City still don't got got it together. But I don't know, man. Chicago, their defense is horrible, so I might not even I, I might not even play it. But Kansas City, they, this might be the week for them to get that shit together because Chicago, they just don't look right, man. So I, I got no opinion, though. I got no okay. pick right now. All right, next Sunday night, Pittsburgh at Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, Vegas is two-and-a-half-point favorites. Total is 43. Uh, I might rock out with Vegas. If, I don't know. Adams left the Buffalo game, so I don't know if he's going to be playing or not, so that's a big deal. If he's playing, I'm going to rock out with Vegas. Uh, Pittsburgh don't really look right right now. The offense don't look right. But, um, yeah, I'm going to pick Vegas in this one. Okay. All right. So 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 you so you going with the Raiders over the Steelers? Yeah. For now, until that offense show me otherwise. Okay. Um. Now we got Monday night. Two Monday night games, which I, I don't get, but yeah, 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 that, yeah. That don't that don't make no sense to me. We got Philadelphia Eagles at Tampa Bay. Philly is five and a half point favorites. Total is forty six. Um. Wow. I think the Eagles probably gonna. They got this long layoffs. They play Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Now they ain't not playing again until Monday, so that's a long ass break for them. I think they they gonna cover that five and a half point spread and beat Tampa Bay, give them their first loss. Yeah, know what I mean. The Bucks stop <laughs> here. Yeah, you heard it there first. Know what I mean? I agree. I agree. All right, that's that's that simple, right? Yep. All right. The Bucks stop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, when they be when they be showing like the corny one liners and they be having yeah. that like on the yeah. newspapers and shit. Nah, yeah, I mean the buck stops the buck stops the bucks stopped here. Like, yo, who think of this? Like who think of this stuff? Like I mean <laughs> I don't know. I mean like like like, like yo man. <laughs> like all right, last game, L.A. Rams at Cincinnati. Cincinnati's two and a half point favorites. Totals forty three and a half. Um, I don't know if Joe Burrow's gonna play, so I have no opinion on this. Mm. And um, Rams one to one. Cincinnati's zero and two. Yeah. Cincinnati better win this game. So all right, say say who, who's zero and two? Oh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if he don't play, then he probably ain't got no chance to win, right? You would think. What, 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 what chance they, they got them? I don't even know what their backup is. Yeah, no, I mean, because I was gonna ask you the backup was, and I, I don't, I don't know. So Joe Shiesty went. I mean, show Joe Shiesty play. Joe Shiesty play. I think they gonna win. Mm-hmm. Just, just, just based off 
the what they call it, like the ebb and flow of stuff. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. gotta win one soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't you know what I mean. So I think, so I think if 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 Joe Burrow play, I think they're gonna win just based off the flow, mm-hmm. just based off the flow how how the flow of things go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That that that's all it's based off. It ain't based off nothing else. I think they just. Have to win one eventually, yeah. and it just might be this one. It's, it's just going to have, be this one. That's how I feel. That's all. You know what I mean? That's the only reason. I just it's just it's just because of that. That's yeah. it. Exactly. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? So it's just the whole what they call it, like ebb and flow, like how the season go. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So I, it ain't it ain't really based on well this or that, and he going no. I just think they just bound to win one, and this is going to be the one. That's, that's, that's all. That's usually how I do a lot of my betting too. Like I don't go into a whole bunch of stats and all that. So. Kind of just like you said, ebbs and flow of the season, ups and downs, and Cincinnati they got a good team they, from past years. I mean, the past three years they've been playing well, and they know they can't go down zero and three. They just they just gonna have to win one eventually. Mm-hmm. And the Rams ain't not nobody tough. So. Okay. With or without Joe Burrow, I think they they, they might win. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, man, that was all the um picks. Now I mean, that was the week three predictions and all that point spreads and all that. Now I mean, like I said, those are Vegas odds on our our our, our, our odds. Now I'm saying we don't make up our own odds. Those are just Vegas Vegas odds. Now I mean, these are just our predictions and all that stuff like that as far as who gonna win and who gonna lose. Yeah. And um, a lot of injuries this week. Yeah. Too, yeah. So we don't know who gonna play yet and when all that. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So I mean, like you said, now I mean. We record this early. I mean, we don't we don't record it on a Saturday early in the morning and then put it out and nothing like that. And I mean, we don't do nothing like that. So we record earlier in the week. So like you said, the numbers can change. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The odds of whatever. You know what I'm saying the point spread and all that type of stuff. Those things can change. So you know, we we're, we're in, like I said. You know what I mean? Just got to put the disclaimer out there. We're not aficionados. This is not a. We don't run a sports book or none of that. You know what I mean? So, so I just put that out there. How you spell aficionado? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know aficionado was a real word. You know what I'm saying? I just people just say aficionado. It's like a mild word. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean, real aficionado over here. <laughs> okay, know it all. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, okay, know it all. What about this? Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. If you lose the bet, you don't have the money. <laughs> what do, what do you think's gonna happen to you? <laughs> Since you so smart, Mister Aficionado, hey, <laughs> what, what, what do you think's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, Mister Know It All. Since so, yeah, man, um, yeah, man, that's that's it, man. I mean, hopefully, now we'll be able to do this now next week. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, I mean, hopefully, I'll um, be able to be, um, be able to do this next for y'all next week, man. Thanks for the love, the support, cause y'all really like this show. Like, I had a feeling people was gonna like it, but they really, really love this joint. Like, they really love like listening to it. You know what I'm saying, and people really be like listening to it to get they whatever they want to do. If they want to bet, like we said, man, for a gambling problem, he said you call money on the gambler that don't. So <laughs> hey, he said you better have your insurance. Yeah, you better have a couple of dollars. Ready. You need, you need money. Hold on, you have a problem with gambling. You try to get your life together because you spend all your money gambling, but then you need money for them to help you. Mm-hmm. That's wild to me. I just got insurance. Just, just have insurance. Nah, I mean, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't got no insurance. It's a wrap, man. Listen, man, you ain't got no money. Just go on to the nearest church, grab a Bible, yeah. because money hunting gambling gonna be like we can't help you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? This is not the church. We don't help for free. <laughs> we don't run a charity. Mm-hmm. Cold blooded, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like this, this is America, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But you know, um, thanks for the love, the support. Like I said, you know what I mean? We, we we appreciate the plays. We appreciate y'all loving this. Um, uh, I mean this show and just loving. You know I mean, earn ISO podcast period. You know what I mean, like I said this is this is ISO versus this is episode of ISO versus the world. But we are gonna put this out on the um, earning ISO um platform and all that for y'all. And just thank y'all, man. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The support we getting is overwhelming. Man, it, it really is overwhelming. You know what I'm saying they kind of took to you. you know what I'm saying, and they, yeah, you know what I mean, you really, they were searching for you too. They was like, yo, he really don't be on social media and all that. Yeah, oh, man. Cause it was they would have found you. Oh man, now if he was, they would have found you. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'm too thin skinned. To yeah. Social yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, man. yeah, but, um, but you know, like I said, now I'm going to end it like that, man. Thank y'all. You know what I mean? For mm-hmm. the love and support, please like, comment, share, subscribe, rate, review, all that good stuff. Like I said, we trying to, as far as the Earning Night Soul podcast, we trying to consolidate our plays. So, Please listen to us at least one time on a major. You know what I mean? I know that y'all like to listen to us on whatever platform y'all listen to us on. But do us a favor and just listen to us at least one time on a major. Because most of y'all say that y'all don't, that y'all listen to us more than one time. You know what I mean? During the week. So, you know what I mean? That second or third or fourth time, whatever, listen to us on a major so that those plays add to our collective. Which I know that that's, you know I mean, I know that y'all doing that because our plays, our numbers are going up. Like I said, this is actually ISO versus the world episode, but. No, I mean I haven't launched the podcast yet. Know what I'm saying? So that's why I'll be putting them out on the Earning ISO pl- um, platform and all that. But this is actually ISO versus the world expansion team. Know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what I call. I call this. I call this the expansion team. Okay. So this is the expansion team episode week for week three. So you know what I mean? I just right. know I mean not I me mean, just gonna end it like that, man. Thank y'all for the love and support. Like I said, we're gonna try to get mm-hmm. to see y'all every week. So I mean, the times that he's not here, I'm gonna see if I get him to him on the phone. I'm gonna get him on the phone. You know what I mean? So he can still get it in because, you know what I mean, from the love is overwhelming, you know what I'm saying, that y'all really, really, really like us doing this. Y'all really like this show. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I just want to say I'll just say that, man. Thank y'all. And just thank y'all, man. You want to say something to the people? You know, I just must respect, man. Uh, thanks for the love. And we just want to keep on doing our thing. And um, that's it. Just thanks. That's all I can say. All right. You know what I mean? So we just going to end it like that, man. I mean, thank y'all. Um. We see y'all next week. Now, I mean, we get this done for y'all next week. Now, I mean, we see y'all next week. Yes, sir.